Dennis here with another video talking about Google My Business and today we're going to talk about Google My Business verifications. Ooh, but more specifically how we're going to bypass Google My Business verifications. Now, I love Google My Business verifications. Uh, the code takes about five days to arrive when you request it from Google and sometimes it doesn't even arrive, but let's say it does arrive, you register and for some reason, Google shuts down your Google My Business. Now, I don't know, things happen. Some, maybe you messed up, maybe you did something wrong, but life happens, Google does whatever it wants, and maybe you can't even restore your business. Now, whatever the reason you might be watching this video for, you can get a Google My Business verification done by a third party and you do not need to wait for a postcard to get to your mailbox, all right? And to actually have a physical place of business, all right? Now, this could be a, 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 a this could sound like a gold mine for scammers, all right? And we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. But we need to understand that your Google My Business is very important for your business for lead generation. Your Google My Business can make you wealthy your Google My Business at this point in time in March of 2019 is the gold mine for business owners and for lead generation all right so let's talk about what you should not do this and what you should not do this method for and how you should not use this because if you're going to use this for the wrong reasons you're going to be wiped out and I personally have wiped out people about 10 different businesses from Google my business from the maps listings because they're scams all right and people normal people can do that they have the power to do that which is why this will not work for the long term for scammers all right so let's discuss this you need to have a real business in order to do this verification all right this verification by a third party is going to cost you money which means you, when you get this verification done and you're on Google, you need to have a legitimate business in place. It could be a lead generation business or it could be a legitimate business. Nonetheless, they need to be focused on branding and on being a real business. What does a real business do, all right? A real business will have a real name, not like Best Dentist Miami. That is not a real name. It will have something like Vista Dental Practice. Does that make sense? It's a real business name, not a lead generation scammy name. A real brand or a business will have a real phone number where a real person picks up the phone when you give that phone number a call, all right? They will have a real website. They will have some branding information. They will have business hours on their website. They will have an address on their website. All right, and lastly, they'll a real brand will have reviews, and they'll want to have reviews. And another thing, a real brand can sometimes have Google My Business posts. All right, at the bottom of your Google My Business, you have the option to post things, kind of like little news snippets of what's going on in your business. You can have a promotion. You can have you can tell some kind of a story. You can have a client testimonial. But the point is that your Google My Business is like a real brand and you need to and you need to understand as the viewer that when you're just trying to do some shady stuff and get onto google my business as some kind of a lead generation company with some kind of a a business name that is just the keyword like miami best dentist and you just have a phone number there that will not stick around and again i've personally removed those from google my business okay so Again, focus on having a real business. And at, at the end of this, we're gonna talk about some really creative ways if you're a lead generation company or if you're an actual business to get the most leads possible within your local business area, all right? So stick around for that. That's gonna be in a few minutes. Um, but before we get there, uh, let's talk about the third-party verification. So I'm gonna show you a site here in a few minutes and we're gonna hop into my computer. but. Just so you understand that this is a third party that does it, okay? They are somebody that I trust personally. There's quite a few actually third parties that do this that can get your business, uh, can, you get, can get your Google My Business verified and on Google My Business and on, uh, the, sorry, not Google My Business, the Google Maps, all right? 
So um, the business that I use, they charge a hundred bucks per verification. And if you, if you buy a few packs at once, they can actually discount um, you know, the price per verification. Now, the clever way to actually do this, and this is very interesting. This is something that I've, that I've done locally within my, uh, my local town. Let's say you are a jump house rental in Portland, right? And you buy a 10 pack of Google My Business verifications. Now, Dennis, now Dennis like why would I need 10 Google My Business verifications? Hear me out for a second. If you are clever, what you can actually use this for is you can set up your Google My Business in different counties and areas around Portland, right? That you service as a rental, as a you know party house rental company. And you don't have to be a party house rental. You could be a plumber. You could be a service area business. But the point is that you go to these locations to service customers. You can set up, let's say, a few of these counties all over the place with your Google My Business listing and every, in each and every single one of them, you can have those listings point to one phone number and point to one website, right? But let's say you also get a few reviews on all of these listings, you know, you make them nice and pretty, you have a few pictures on all of these listings and boy, oh boy, how many leads are you going to get from all over the Portland area from having all of these Google My Business listings set up. All right, that is a pro tip. So for that pro tip, please like the video down below and subscribe to this channel. All right, so without further ado, let's hop on into my computer and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get your Google My Business listings verified without actually having to have a postcard sent out physically in the mail. All right, let's go. All right, guys, once we're inside the computer, we're gonna go to the company that does the third-party verifications and that's going to be gmbswarm.com all right so these guys they're the ones that I trust okay um, they charge 100 bucks per one verifications you can buy a multi-pack and get a good discount now there's other third-party services that do this as well personally these are the ones that I trust and yeah, I mean, there's probably a way you can figure out how to do this yourself, but I know that these guys are pros, they know what they do, and frankly, they're the ones that I use personally. Um, I'm not affiliated with them, I don't really care who you guys use, but I just want to bring this to light so you understand this, just the realm of possibilities for bringing local leads into your business and creating a massive lead generation and business, and like you can create a lead generation business, you can use this method to bring leads into your own business. The point is that you're gonna be swamped with leads. And when you have too much leads, that's the best problem you could possibly have because then you can use things like price control to you know level out the market a little bit, all right? And again, the, the tip with this is once you guys place the order, um, I would probably recommend doing a few Google My Businesses that you can set up somewhere around your city. But the key here is that these guys actually let you choose your address. And this is absolutely crazy. So you can pretty much pick any building in your city. And uh, when you order this, and I'm going to show you how you can actually order this right now. When you place an order, they will have an Excel sheet in within uh, the program here that you can put an address in and you can pretty much choose any address within the city, which is absolutely crazy, right? But please use it smartly, right? Please use it in, in, a, in a wise manner, meaning that let's say you're some kind of a uh, consultant, right? You actually help out businesses and sometimes you actually want to have a meeting um, with your potential clients. What I did is I actually placed the address near a Regus uh, office rental space or you know maybe some kind of other office rental space you might have near you is something that you'd want to use but the point is that just in case I can always go there and meet the client there at the shared office space and actually rent out a room for an hour or a few hours and um, you know meet up with the client but my actual address would also show at the same building which is a again a pro tip all right. So what what you do um, is when you place an order, let's see, let's move this guy out of the way. When you place an order, um, it's pretty basic. You just you're just gonna add this to cart. For example, you can also use 
You can also order any one of these, add it to cart, proceed to checkout. All right, so you're just gonna go ahead and pay. It's gonna take you over to PayPal, you're gonna pay. And what's gonna happen is at on the last page, on the confirmation page, there's going to be a order number. Make sure you note that order number. That's gonna be very important. What you do after you ordered, and this is also very important because this is something I actually forgot to do when I ordered the first time, is you wanna go back into the gmbswarm.com and you wanna submit order information. So if I did bulk, bulk order, you can do single order. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. So when you do, let's say for example, single order, you wanna submit your information to make sure that they actually have the information on a file to process your order. So again, what is your order number? Again, make sure you note that order number during the checkout page, during your checkout. Alrighty, and yeah, go ahead and just fill everything out. Make sure it's all correct. You know, your company email, your phone numbers, state hours of operation right do you want to show your address or do you want to hide your address um, again that totally depends on you what i would do if you're not sure if you would, whether you want to show your address or hide your address is i would actually go on google and look up similar businesses to mine within my city and see what the best practices are if you see that everybody's hiding their address maybe you would want to hide it too um, if they're not hiding there, you know, if you're not hiding, if nobody's hiding their address, maybe you don't want to hide it as well. So look into your specific business types and figure that out for yourself. Alrighty. And then, yeah, just make sure you put the category, the URL, company name. What's going to happen is that when you submit your order information, um, within a few days, they're going to reach out back to you, to your email that you have on file with your contact email, and they're going to submit your login and your password. So in terms of the login and password information, if we go over to google.com forward slash business, you're gonna press sign in and uh, yeah, I'm gonna exit out of there. I don't want my email to show, but uh, when you're gonna go to Google My Business, you're, you're gonna be able to sign in with the email that these guys provide you and then you're gonna have full access to your Google My Business listing and then you can also edit things and change things around. Now. What I need to note here is that when you get verification, when you actually go through this entire process, if you try to change something drastic, that is, let's say you put in a phone number here when you submitted the order and for some reason you get verified and within a couple of days you want to change the phone number, they're probably going to request, Google is probably going to request re-verification, which is probably going to break your listing, all right? Because that's going to mean, mean that these guys are going to need to get it verified again, and that might be an issue there, all right? So I implore you to, win, to uh, when you submit your information, make sure this is the correct and proper information that you can use long-term for your business, at least a year or two, right? So if you're using your personal phone number, I implore you again, find a business phone number. I use something like CallRail, it's a, it's a tracking number, plus you can actually redirect it to your personal phone number. And you know, make sure your company and business name and email and, every, and your website is set up before your order so that you don't have to change all of this information once you place the order. This is very important. Um, again, I don't want your Google My Business listing to break because you're just you want to change your information and Google wants to re-verify you. All right, that's a problem in this kind of a setup. All right, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. I'm glad to answer them for you. Um, definitely want to bring you as much value as I can for local business lead generation. Um, other than that, that's about it. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.